Defense Updates has reached more than 150,000 subscribers. We're genuinely thankful to our viewers. You keep us going. Follow us on social media. Support us on Patreon. All links in description below. Israel's conflict with Middle Eastern countries, that is, the Arab world, has been one of the most deadly conflict of recent times. Multiple wars and skirmishes later, there's still no sign of peaceful resolution. But one thing has changed over the decades. Israel has transformed itself into a major military power and has kept on increasing its technological gap vis-a-vis -vis its adversaries. In this video, Defense Updates lists five weapons because of which no Middle Eastern country wants to go to war with Israel. Let's get started. Number 5 The Spike missile is Israel's one design fits all anti tank guided missile system. The Spike SR short range system is a single shot disposable missile system like the old American LAW. Spike has a thermal seeker, tandem shaped charge warhead for defeating reactive armor and a range of 800 meters. Spike is mounted on everything from ground vehicles to Seraf Apache helicopters, naval vessels, and drones. It can be used against tanks and armored vehicles, ships, aircraft, and even individual high value terrorist targets. Larger versions of the Spike are essentially the same missile, scaled up. Spike MR, similar in class to the American Javelin, has a range of 2,500 meters. Spike LR, similar to the American TOW 2B, has a slightly longer range at 4,000 meters. Finally, Spike ER is similar in characteristics to the American Hellfire. A non line of sight version of Spike, Spike NLOS, trails a fiber optic cable that allows the operator to seek out and destroy targets to a range of 25 kilometers. Spike essentially makes it very difficult to mount an effective armor assault against Israel. Number four. Israel has a tendency to rename American weapon systems, and this is one case in which the new name is much cooler than the old one. The Smasher rocket launcher is actually the American M270 MRLS. A mainstay of the U.S. Army's artillery branch, the M270 was developed in the 1970s as part of the Big Five of weapon systems that would transform the Army. Based on a modified M2 Bradley chassis, the Smasher carries 12 227mm rockets. A three-vehicle battery can send 23,184 cluster munitions downrange in one minute, saturating a 1 km by 1 km area. Israel has 48 Smasher systems. Currently, Israel is limited to rockets with a 40 km range, but new 150 km range rockets are in the pipeline. Such rockets will give Israel artillery, positioned in Haifa, the ability to strike Damascus. Number 3 The brainchild of General Israel Tal, Chief of the Armored Forces, the Merkava is Israel's first and only indigenous main battle tank. The tank was especially designed for Israel tank doctrine, low to the ground with a powerful gun. The Merkava even had the engine placed in the front of the tank to provide protection to the crew. Combined with heavily sloped composite armor, Merkava made an excellent defensive tank, well suited to defending against Egyptian armored formations on the Sinai or Syrian forces on the Golan Heights. Early versions of the Merkava had the same British designed 105mm main gun as the initial versions of the American M1 Abrams. Newer versions are armed with locally produced 120mm smoothbore gun. The Merkava's main gun is accurate to at least 2,000 meters with high explosive anti tank, heat, and armored piercing AP rounds. Conventional rounds are supplemented by the Lahat missile, capable of being fired from the barrel of the Merkava. The laser guided Lahat can engage targets out to 9,000 meters. Merkava tanks were some of the first armored vehicles to be equipped with active protection systems against guided missiles. 
Israel has built over 2,000 Merkavas in all versions with 660 of the latest Mark IV built. The quantity and quality of Merkava makes Israel's armor force one of the strongest in the world. Number 2 The Israeli Air Force was founded on May 28, 1948, exactly two weeks after the founding of the State of Israel. A motley force of veteran World War II pilots and obsolete aircraft, it has matured into one of the most powerful air forces in the world. The Israeli Air Force IAF, has been instrumental in Israel's defense, providing air superiority over Israel, close air support over Israeli ground forces, and performing strikes against targets deep in the enemy's homeland. Over the past three decades, it has also taken on a counter-terrorism role using airstrikes to assassinate terrorist leaders and destroy caches of weapons from the Tunis to the Sudan. The IAF has an estimated 648 aircraft of all types, manned and serviced by 35,000 active duty personnel. An additional 24,500 reservists can be called up during wartime. At total mobilization, the IAF enjoys a comfortable ratio of 91 personnel for every one aircraft far above the Egyptian Air Force's 30 to 1 ratio and the Royal Saudi Air Force 38 to 1. It has around 58 F-15 Eagle, 25 F-15E Strike Eagle, 223 F-16 Fighting Falcon and 9 F-35 Lightning II with 50 more on order. An important thing to note is that these American fighter jets are enhanced by Israel with many indigenous systems and weapons, more aligned to its requirement. Number 1 The Jericho 3 is the third missile to serve as Israel's land based nuclear deterrent. The Jericho 3 is believed to have a range between 4,800 and 6,000 kilometers and is capable of carrying a 1,000 kilogram warhead payload. A range of 4,800 kilometers would enable it to strike from Morocco to eastern India, while a 6,500 kilometer range would enable it to target as far as western China. The missile is reportedly solid fueled, meaning it can be launched with minimum preparation and reportedly based in silos capable of resisting attack. The Jericho 3, as well as the older generation Jericho 2 missiles, may be based at Palmachim Air Base. Jericho 3 is believed to carry a single nuclear warhead or three low yield, multiple independently targetable re entry vehicles. The precise yield of Israel's ICBM warheads is unknown, but unconfirmed reports peg them at 20 kilotons. By way of comparison, the atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima was 16 kilotons. Jericho 3 is Israel's strongest deterrence against any aggression. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.